you tell me who and what is Lizard? What do I need to know? What do you need to know about Lizard? Well, we're a, a three-piece band. We play art rock music. And we started in 2006, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and since then we've recorded, uh, we were doing our, this is our fourth full-length album. And um, we've done loads of touring with really cool bands and all over Europe. And uh, now we're stuck at home. <laughs> 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 well, and uh, yeah, and the band, so we are a trio, but uh, so that's Katie on the drums. Yeah. Uh, there's William, which is not there, uh, on the bass, and, and I'm Matt for doing guitar and vocals. Okay, and what for you is uh, kind of the makings of the Lizard sound, and well, how has it uh, reached the current point after, as you said, whopping 15 years? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, time, time flies. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> The, the lizard sound well i guess um we like to sound like 10 people even though there's only three of us so we've worked really hard on our sound especially the guys with all their complicated amplifiers and pedals and shit which matthew can tell you right um yeah i think our sound comes from yeah just trying to sound as huge as we can basically uh to well, the uh, amplifiers Tell him about your yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, I don't think we planned what we the, the way we wanted to to sound like. Uh, I think it all depends on the approach of every every each musician, really. I mean, uh, I come from the jazz world. I mean, I, I've learned, uh, studied guitars and everything, but I used to play jazz a lot. And uh, but I always wanted to play rock. Um, um, again, at least, I and mean, it's really really funny because we talked about that just two seconds yeah, ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. Um, I mean, I was listening to Hendrix. I grew up with Hendrix and stuff like that, you know, uh, as pro as a proper guitar player, you should, you know. <laughs> and um, and when I want, and when we started playing with Lizard um, as a trio, of course, lots of different influences. We, I mean, we got into different bands from from Hendrix, but yet, of course, I mean, Tool happened yeah, Tool. at that moment. Uh, Gojira, Deftones, Deftones, all this kind of nineties. Yeah vibe you know vega in waves of of music and um hardly any trio was in fashion at the time so yeah. so they all i mean all those bands were playing with two guitars for example and stuff like that and and how uh, i personally always hated that uh playing with two guitars listening to two guitar players is fine but playing with another guitar player has never been my cup of tea so but and yet we wanted this kind of huge sounds and everything. Yeah. So, so William got into that too. Basically, he's playing with two different amps. Uh, one, he's got one setting where it's all distortion sounds for bass, and another, and another, another setting with all clean sounds. And sometimes he plays with both at the same time. And uh, and myself, I just create loops in real time too. So I've got different settings. I've got a, my own, my main guitar settings, and I've got different gear. Where, where I can loop what I'm doing and send, it, and send that into a, a other amplifiers. So it feels like sometimes there's two guitar players playing in the same time. Um, so we created that and we played with that first. And yeah. we, I, I don't know, we thought it was fun. And uh, so we just, I don't know, we just went head on on that and just, that's it. Blizzard was basically yeah. that, you know. Um, and uh, we don't use any clicks or anything. So it's all about, in the end, Katie, being able to hear what's going on with the bass and guitars and being able to play with that too, <laughs> you know, I mean, so it's kind of a funny, noisy, I don't know, it's there, yeah, that's a kind of a mess sometimes, but it's old school. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're having fun with doing that. So I think it's one of the, uh, the particular thing we've got with Lizard being a trio is uh, when people see us on stage, they see three people, but loads of sound is going on. They don't know, really know who, where and how it comes from but um mm. but that's what it is you know? yeah as you said that it wasn't that much a uh, planned thing but uh how do you see the evolution between the albums for example as you said this is the fourth album now yeah it is quite difficult i mean uh hopefully they are getting better and better yeah <laughs> but we're really pleased with the the latest album i think um yeah i mean they're, they're more concise the songs are probably shorter and uh, maybe a bit less prog, maybe they're a little bit easier to, to get into. 
Um, and I think, but I think since the very beginning of Lizard, we've always been trying to aim for the same thing, like the same message maybe. Although we've evolved in what we're trying to say, I think it's always had us, um, it's always come from the same place. The message is, is always pretty much yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah. And I think um, as we've made all these albums, I think we've tried just to become clearer with this message so people can fully understand what we're trying to tell them, which is cool because with the last album, finally, when we read all the reviews about it, the things people are saying is exactly what we're trying to tell them and, and they've understood it. And they're like, it's almost like they're, they've heard what we're saying and they're replying to us and saying, oh, we, you know, this is what Lizard are saying and it's exactly perfect. So I think this time around, we've actually managed to um, make ourselves heard, yeah, even which though, is very interesting. Even though I've got a weird theory about that though. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I'm really pleased that people really got into the album and we had great feedbacks from yeah, this album. So yeah. that's, that's great. But, uh, Again, this album came out. I mean, we weren't. I mean, the whole world was in lockdown. Yeah. So somehow I've got this theory where okay, people are. That's the only thing they've got to do now is properly listen to albums instead of having lots of albums. You know, I mean, for for now for the past ten years, I mean, lots of uh, I don't know mag magazines or people like you, you know. You, I'm sure you just listen to thousands of albums, you know, every year and just pick up the one you think is good or pick up the one you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just we'll a be song here and a song yeah. there. And, uh, yeah. But because of the lockdown, everybody had the time, fully the time to really get into an album. Uh, and I think that helped us somehow. Yeah, like people really got into this one because they, they had the time maybe to. Maybe they were more receptive. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I really don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but that, that's, my, that, that's my weird theory anyway. But um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the the base of the message is always the same. Yeah. But of course, I mean, we play we play all together for the same reason too. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, we've got. I mean, of course, we're having fun and we don't really plan much except we play music for a need first, and uh, we need to vehicle we need we need to vehicle a message, you know, and we need to express ourselves definitely through music. I mean, uh, yeah, we're not very very big social animals. No. So, <laughs> And we live in the countryside too, so that doesn't, that doesn't help. But uh, but uh, yeah, music is definitely a way for us to to express ourselves yeah. deeply and fully. You know. Well, the album came out in a very special time, of course, like you said. So, how has the yeah. experience been for you, publishing new music in this time? Uh, yeah, it's pretty weird. I mean, the thing is, this album was recorded in two thousand nineteen, and we we wrote it like early 2019 and recorded it in October 2019. So it was way before the COVID. And then when the COVID happened, uh, we were we were mixing the album. So yeah, for the first lockdown, we were, yeah, we in, were, we were in, the, in the mix process. Yeah, so yeah. we were at home working via Skype anyway with the producer. So that was cool. And, um, and then we were working on releasing the album, doing the artwork, getting the record deal sorted and all that. So 2020 was, I mean, we were at home anyway, doing, <laughs> doing all this art stuff. So, so it didn't really matter, but now the album is out and we should be on the road. So now we're pretty frustrated. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're probably just going to write another album because <laughs> yeah. there's nothing else to do. The, the, the weird, the weird thing is, I mean, to be, to be frank, I mean, for us, this album is uh, is already a year old yeah. for us. So, but uh, we've got to remember that when the the first lockdown happened, uh, we felt really weird because we talk about that in the album. Yeah. Uh, for some songs, and we've got few few lines and few songs where it's all about the the state of the world and whatever you know, and. Uh, and when that happened, we were like, "Shit, it's happening! Is it our head? Is yeah. it? Is it? Is it? What the fuck is? What the fuck's going on?" And uh, so we felt weird. So we were mixing the album, and we were basically listening to songs that were telling us what's happening yeah. in real life. So we were like, "That's, yeah, it was that's fucked strange. up." But uh, but I guess lots of uh, lots of artists uh, lived that they they i'm sure they experienced that too you know and it's not like uh oh we were saying literally what was happening it's just uh again if you travel a bit if you've got experience as a band and if you look a bit everywhere uh 
it's quite easy to know what's happening and what where we are heading basically mm. and uh and uh yeah there's nothing new in what we were seeing in this album it's just that was just so in our face you know when that happened so so we were basically work, still working on the album but uh living in in real life too so yeah. <laughs> so that was a weird weird uh, weird circumstances and right now it's just yeah we are quite frustrated because mm. uh yeah the album came out in uh, last february yeah. and uh and and again we we are quite happy because uh, people reacted well to it mm. and uh and we had great team with the label yeah. and We've got some great agency for touring and everything. And uh, right now we can't work with those people. So we can't really see each other. We just, every, everything is quite stuck. So so hopefully things are going to hit, uh, is going to hit in, uh, an end. But uh, I don't know. That's the thing. Nobody knows anymore. <laughs> That's the thing. Nobody knows what gonna, what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, which is quite exciting somehow. Yeah, know. yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's frustrating. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, and uh, well, there's there has been a lot of uh, video material coming from you. Is this kind of to battle the lack of gigs? Uh, it was well, more for the yeah. There is that, but it was mainly because we're working with Pelagic now, this really cool German record label, and uh, they really were insistent on having you know lots of new singles with videos. So um, and 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 yeah, we did have more time to do. Yeah, that. <laughs> we, I mean, there's I mean, it's kind of a. Lots of different different things happen at the same time, so uh, that was the opportunity to to happen. Basically, I mean, it's just we all been like that. We're all about opportunities, you know. We don't really, of course, we think ahead of things, but uh, when we want to get creative, it's uh, it's either it happens or it doesn't, and we are not into a forcing thing because when we do that. It's just shit. <laughs> so uh, when I mean shit, it's just we don't like that. You know, we don't like the results. So um, so again, this because of the, the lockdown. Mm. Uh, but again, lockdown or not, we had 2020 for us was the year of finishing the album anyway. So we were not ready to tour at the time. We were not ready to do anything else except doing the doing things. And we had a couple of couple of titles where we thought about videos and yeah. Because uh, again, during the the, the process of uh, composing, um, I'm I work like that a lot. But I've got I've got pictures in my head all the time. You know, I I, I see pictures and I see paintings and shit like that. You know, mm -hmm. colors and movements and everything. So so during the composition, we were I mean we talk about that a lot, yeah. and I describe things a lot like that. You know, like as a as images and pictures. Yeah. Uh, which is great for making videos because if you find the right people to to do that, uh, they've got lots of uh, content, you know, to and lots of uh, lots of things to to be inspired with. So so we did. I think that was a couple a couple, and then the label uh, thought uh, if we can have more, let's have more, you know. Uh, so we thought, okay, let's have more. <laughs> so we just did we just did more uh, with a good restriction, meaning that we couldn't move. Yeah. I mean, we were we were locked down, so we had to do with what we had, you know, like uh, either some friends around or, or like, I don't know, like in in our in our hometown, which is really tiny and not many, not much happening. So stuff like that. But but we had fun. I mean, again, it's being creative is basically doing something with nothing. So <laughs> that's the most creative. That's the most creative you can be somehow. So yeah, yeah. So somehow we kind of we kind of enjoyed that too. Yeah. You know? As we talked, the uh, album. Uh, was made already in 2019 and uh and you said that maybe there is a new album coming you know still in the pandemic time but like uh, all joking aside like is that something uh that you can even think of like releasing another album under these yeah. circumstances yeah i mean matthew has already started writing some new stuff with we're going to be working on it all soon um i think if yeah i mean if things don't start moving soon then that's what's going to happen we're going to start writing a new album maybe it won't be released till later maybe it's yeah it's but like, it's, we will start writing one because otherwise yeah we're just and, really uh, bored. <laughs> yeah and uh and again let's be fair on that um because we're not touring um i mean making an album is uh is quite of a budget for us because mm -hmm. we don't recall at home at all we need we need a we're quite old-fashioned about that i mean we we need a studio or if it's not a studio we need a team to work and record with us um because we need to we need to play all together 
uh, whether composing, but even even recording. Even though we we do like take per take, or I can I can most of the time I do the guitars after. But while the drums and bass are are recorded, I play too. So we need to feel the band playing. Uh, again, that's how our music works for us. And um, so it's quite of a budget for us to record. And uh, because we're not touring, it's a lack of money. I mean, I mean uh, most of our album is being being able to be made because of the touring situation. Uh, if we can't tour, yeah, that's going to be a bit a bit tougher to find the find the budget. Mm-hmm. But uh, we will make it happen. I mean, we, we will make it work, yeah. whether we tour or not. But uh, yeah, if the pandemic is still on like that yeah. and nothing's changing, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I can't I can't stop being creative. I mean, I need to, to play music, whether whether touring, whether people to listen. Even if nobody would listen to that, I would still play music. I'm quite crazy, but that's the mm-hmm. way it is. So, so yeah, we will definitely. I mean, yeah, the process is already on. Ben, yeah, so. yeah. So it's already happening. Yeah. Whether it's released or not, we will see. We will see how it goes. Yeah. 